Jackal 2. We're getting into this palace fast and getting out faster. Once you do the necessary, we're wiping it off the map. Roger that, Jackal 1. We're not sticking around for tea. <laughs> Probably dreadful anyway. We're looking for a bunker. Our best guess is that we can access it on the far side of the grounds. We'll see you through. After that, it's up to Talon 1 to lift us all out in one piece. That's my preference. So let's get to it then. We're nearly there.
Commander, on me. We're going down. We'll hold the area. Be quick about it. Better be it. Really make you work for it, don't they? Dom's hoarding millions down here. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. And you trade it all for a WMT. We're close. Clear. What the hell happened in here? Biohazard cabinet. Must be the demonstration allowing mentioned. How about that hard case there? Check it out. What do we got? The cradle. Panthing has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands, too? A sample of it, based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. Some notes, all in Russian. The project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. American? All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Head to top side. Let's move. You get what you wanted? Not exactly. But we got what we needed. We need to clear a pickup zone. Let's get to the palace rooftop!
Biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goose, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Sarah about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. I told her to look into Livingston. You think something's happened to her? If it has, it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me and Kay Stasar? I'd consider it. <laughs> Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. He should be decrypting the disc Adler found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, Chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve us pufferfish? You said no complaining. I did, didn't I? Let me know when we're close to leaving. I'm afraid I'll need a little more time. Unless you've come to help. Yet to be determined. I found these cookbooks in storage, but... I'm afraid my Cyrillic skills are not as sharp as they once were. And I am working with ingredients that I could hunt and forage from the surrounding area. So, let's call it a stew, shall we? Uh -huh. I see. Because I no longer desire to take a human life, you believe my heart bleeds for all creatures. It's an understandable assumption. However, these are very different circumstances. To hunt 
Mm. It's to be in symbiosis with nature. To take a life without due cause is parasitical. Society is a predatory structure. Those with power, whether legitimate or otherwise, prey on those without and use thugs, uniformed as I once was, or otherwise, to enforce their rule. The Stasi, CIA, organized crime in Avalon, most assuredly Pantheon, all are institutions of oppression. I bloodied my hands, and burdened my soul with complicity, and now I live in shame. Never again. I cannot say. I think that makes us a necessary evil. Perhaps this is why I prefer computer systems, ones and zeros. However, binary thinking is not conducive to modern existence. Social systems are complex webs. I think we can only navigate the gray and hope that history views us favorably. Whatever it contains is locked behind some rather impressive encryption. I was able to write a program to decrypt it, but the truth is, I am stumbling in the dark at best. Not so much picking the lock as drilling through the tumblers. Feel free to come by the kitchen later. Might need a test subject. for help, man. Fuck you too. Fine, have fun. Does it look like I'm having fun? No, it's n that's not what I meant. You got dealt a bad hand. You're gonna get dealt bad hands, kid. With us, the stakes are high. Be honest. I don't think I could have done it. Come back home after what happened in Panama. <clears throat> Trusted anyone again. You keep believing in the ones who got your back. Who go to battle for you. Adler was one of those. When those records. Turned up after Panama, the wire transfers to Adler from Raul Menendez, two-bit dope slinger. I smell bullshit. Adler, turn against his brothers for cash? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Those threads he loves, they ain't cheap now. Listen, I know he can be a goddamn psychopath. I get it but he's on our side. He just got his own way of doing things. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are anymore. <laughs> You're figuring it out, kid. Handling things, making calls. I just wish I was out there kicking ass with you. Kills me to be in this thing. Hold on now, you're essential, man. All right, chair or no chair. I know you can't get around the way you used to, but this? This is strong. Maybe you were, maybe you were Captain America before and now, now you're like, Professor X. Who? 
Get out of my face, man.
sure to play the sounds of a rocket launch. I was disappointed. Wanted to see it on film instead. Then you're older, my sister said. As she used the iron to press her father's work clothes. A record played the sounds of a rocket launch. I was disappointed. Wanted to see it on film instead. Then you're older, my sister said. As she used the iron to press her father's work clothes. A record played the sounds of a rocket launch. I was disappointed. Wanted to see it on film instead. Then you're older, my sister said, as she used the iron to press her father's work clothes. A record played the sounds of a rocket launch. I was disappointed. Wanted to see it on film instead. Then you're older, my sister said, as she used the iron to press her father's work clothes. A record played the sounds of a rocket launch. I was disappointed. Wanted to see it on film instead. Then you're older, my sister said, as she used the iron to press her father's work clothes. played the sounds of a rocket launch. I was disappointed. Wanted to see it on film instead. Then you're older, my sister said, as she used the iron to press her father's work clothes. A record played the sounds of a rocket launch. I was disappointed. Wanted to see it on film instead. Then you're older, my sister said. KGB operatives that lived and worked here in the 1960s took orders directly from Nikita Dragovich. The Soviet general that Alex Mason and Jason Hudson terminated in 68. Activities took place here without the knowledge of Soviet leadership or the KGB itself. Almost like the Russian equivalent of the Pantheon. <laughs> <laughs> 